All right, let's see if I still remember how to do this. Hey guys, what is going on? How are you? I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. I just want to do a quick update video just to catch you guys up on what I've been doing here in Vancouver and also tell you about future projects to come. Well, first, after I got to Canada, of course, I had to quarantine for two weeks and I did that in Richmond. And for those two weeks, I spent the majority of my time flipping bananas to see how my day would go. If I flipped the banana and it peeled correctly, then I know that the day would be a good day. And if I messed up the peeling of the banana, it was gonna be a bad day. Also, when I was in quarantine, I Google searched a bunch of different restaurants where I could apply to become a waiter or a bartender and I applied to 54 of them. 12 of them being interested and wanted me to go in for an interview so right after quarantine I went, I followed up on the 12 different restaurants, had an interview with many of them and was offered four job acceptances. I ended up taking a job at Earl's and Ancora. Earl's is a casual fine dining restaurant that is a chain in Canada. In Ancora being a seafood restaurant with Japanese and Peruvian influences, a more fine dining experience. At Ancora during this time, they started me as a service assist and after three weeks, I was promoted to bartender. And this was done through weeks of constant nagging every single week to be promoted to my managers. I then started working up to 60 hours a week, which was way too much for me. I was burned out. I was worked at literally every single day for almost three weeks and I decided to quit Earl's because it wasn't making me happy and the pay wasn't as high. So I stayed a full-time bartender at Ancora, made a bunch of drinks, drank a bunch of drinks, and learned a lot about alcohol. Now, since I only have one job, I had a lot of extra time, which I spent doing workouts, driving, singing. I then schooled some of my housemates in wee bowling, went into a little bit of depression for a few days when I found out my ex was dating uh, a new guy. So in return, I decided to go on many, many dates. I met up with one of my best friends from high school back in Calgary that I kept in contact with that I haven't seen in seven years. I finally went jet skiing for the first time, did some photo shoots, lots of exploring, went to a lot of restaurants, and also saw a lot of pretty sunsets. Also, British Columbia is known for its hiking destination, so I went to Lynn Canyon's Ascension Bridge, and it was closed. But then I went on a couple more and they weren't. Now I am two days away from leaving Vancouver and heading back to California, so I'm gonna do all my packing tomorrow. So I hope that explains my two month hiatus from YouTube. I was also feeling a little burned out because it is a lot of work uploading every single week for months in a row. But now I am fully energized from the summer and it's time to switch my mindset back into dentistry and YouTube. I was shooting a little bit during these two months and I have three videos that I need to edit and they're already finished shooting. This includes an interview with the current dentist and how he's handling the COVID situation, a figs unboxing slash try on slash review, and very excited to do another giveaway with a company that I love. So if you have any interest in any of that content or other dentistry content that I'm gonna be making, I know I'm gonna be starting to vlog a little bit more since I am going to be starting dental school September 20th third and definitely think about hitting the subscribe and the notification bell because those videos will be coming out soon thank you so much for your continued support while i have not been posting my videos are still been getting a lot of engagements i'm still reading the comments i'm still responding to comments so that's my little update video for you guys and your regular unpaid content will be to come